All right, so I was talking with a client recently, and we kind of came to a little bit of a predicament where he was asking, you know, whether TikTok or Facebook lead gen should be what he was focusing on. And I had to really think about it and give an answer. And I realized that it is, there are quite profoundly different principles to TikTok marketing and uh, any sort of Facebook or Instagram lead generation. And I wanted to, after having that conversation, kind of record a video on the differences between the two, when you should do TikTok as opposed to when you should do Facebook and uh, how that all works out. So I'm just going to waste no time and get right into it. Okay, so first off, I wanna open up by saying we are talking about video marketing. This is the main thing that I need to make very crystal clear is we're not talking about you know running some sort of image with a, a, a deal that says you know buy for ten dollars off now to an e-commerce site. We are talking for the financial space. We're talking for insurance agents, uh, advisors, uh, brokers, any of those guys who are looking to do video marketing in the lead gen space. So anybody who's looking to do video marketing that is for lead generation purposes, that is what we do. That is what we take care of. If you guys need help with any of your video content, we offer a year's worth of TikTok content supply uh, scripts for free. Uh, everything's all scripted out for you so you can see that and that is down in the description of this video. But that's not the point that I'm trying to make. The point that I'm trying to make is this is specifically for video marketing uh, as it relates to TikTok because obviously TikTok, the only thing you can do is video marketing. Uh, and with Facebook and Meta as well, we want to be focused on video marketing there and the difference between video marketing on those two platforms. Now that I have that cleared up, let me get into video marketing as a whole. So as I'm sure a lot of you are very well aware, TikTok has started a trend of short form content that spread to all other platforms. So you see Instagram and Facebook coming out with their Reels feature. My mother is very familiar with that. I send her lots of Reels all the time. YouTube coming up with their Shorts feature, etc. There's, you know, all these different social media companies are now hopping on the TikTok bandwagon and trying to make short form content. That is what people are eating up right now. That is what is super popular in not just this industry, but all markets in general right now. It's short form video content is absolutely killing the game. That is where you wanna be. Unfortunately, most people are uncomfortable getting their face in front of a camera. So those who are not are gonna have a huge advantage as this trend continues to grow. So again, I understand a lot of people are uncomfortable. That's why for our clients, we write them custom video scripts so they know exactly what they're saying, exactly what they're doing. And uh, that, that brings us to a bit of a predicament though, the fact that we do that because I'm gonna get that into that a little bit later, why it's very a very, very huge advantage, especially on TikTok, for those who are able to actually be comfortable getting their face in front of a camera. Those are the guys that are really gonna grow and really be able to take advantage of TikTok, especially. Also Facebook as well. Um, so even with massive upside, it is confusing to know what works well for what platform and how you should be video marketing on different platforms, right? So how should I be video marketing on Facebook as opposed to TikTok? That was the question that I had received. And this is, well, the answer to that. So you need to understand the differences between the two platforms, first of all. Now, Facebook is tried and tested. It's been proven to generate results consistently over long periods of time. It's the OG in the space. Facebook is where everything started. Facebook is where online ads got its you know start. Facebook ads are still great. Um, there's some problems with them now, but Facebook ads are still undisputably on top. Facebook ads have been tried and proven and tested over and over and over and over and over again. Facebook ads have made many millionaires, quite frankly, actually. Uh, some of them I know personally. So Facebook as well, you can run standard image and text ads with it and they might still do all right. So I'm noticing like we're basically pushing almost everything over to video marketing and short form content right now. That's what we're doing. I mean, we still do the long form content and stuff like that on, on YouTube, but it's still video. So all, pretty much everything we're doing is all video and we're recommending for marketing purposes, short form video content is absolutely the way to go. But you can still run standard image and text ads and we've had some campaigns that we've seen people do that and they've actually done all right. So. Uh, you can still get leads for very cheap. I can't really speak on e-commerce or any of that stuff, but I know for lead gen, you can still do you know standard image and text ads and, and do pretty all right with it well. That's not dead by any means. It's just not as well performing as videos in my opinion. However, uh, because Facebook 
is having much, much, much more traffic and much, much, much more people come onto the platform to advertise, the costs are getting higher. And that's why people are seeking alternative platforms. I know a lot of guys are saying, oh, Facebook's dead and, you know, can't use it and blah, 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 blah. That's BS. Facebook is still very alive and well and you can still make a lot of money from it. I know that personally. <laughs> um, so, yeah, even though costs are getting higher, um, Facebook is not dead, but people are seeking alternative platforms to kind of see if they can test the waters and find a platform that uh, maybe they can advertise for a little cheaper. Now, here's the key thing with Facebook. One solid video that stands out with great messaging can make you thousands of dollars. So if you look at the very first video on my YouTube channel, I believe I delve into this, where I made one video that I put out on Facebook, and that is how I grew my entire business to start with and started generating leads uh, for myself in order to get uh, clients that I would also generate leads for. And that's how I made my first $20,000 was off of one video that I put out there that was just very solid, had amazing messaging for my audience at the time, and uh, it ended up making me thousands of dollars even without the backend systems that I did not have set in place. So with Facebook, you know, you can come into our system, we'll give you one custom video script that you can run with and, and you can take that and make, you know, however much you can you can scale the ad up to, really. You can make you can make a, a lot of money just off of one video. As long as it's solid and the, the messaging is good and it, it hits all the key things, you don't really need more than one video on Facebook. You might want a couple to, to test and try out with, but you can use one video and you'll you'll be making money. TikTok, on the other hand, is the wild, wild west. So you can get leads for super, super, super cheap, or you could spend hundreds of dollars and end up getting nothing, right? So both ends of the spectrum on TikTok, it, it, people are still trying to find out what works, what doesn't. We have a couple things that we found but I mean, the reach on TikTok, guys, is just super potent. So when you do find the right strategy, it's lunacy how cheap you can get leads for. Like, And we're talking some pretty quality leads that are coming from here for like, we've seen guys who are doing campaigns for, for under a dollar, which is quite ridiculous. I'm not suggesting by any means that that's a repeatable thing that you're going to see for absolutely everyone and that everyone watching this video is going to get leads for under a dollar. But if you're able to master TikTok and, and you're willing to put a little bit more money into testing and stuff, uh, you, you definitely can can get some very, very, very great uh, results from TikTok. 100% I've seen it. So the thing that is the con about TikTok, unfortunately, is you must run video ads. And that's why a lot of people aren't on TikTok still. And I think why there's still such a huge advantage and there will be for a little bit more time because people don't understand the importance of video marketing yet. They don't understand, even though it's all around, there's just so many people I see that they just don't, they don't get it. I've seen so many advisors, agents, brokers that are running ads, and then I take a look and it's like a, <laughs> a picture of a car saying buy my car insurance or something. And it's like, well, like nobody's gonna do this. So you need to realize the importance of, of videos where, where the market is at now, and that's why we're here to help you with all that stuff, right? So that's why I'm making this video for you now. So you need to, with TikTok, because it's the wild, wild west, and because you don't know what's gonna catch on, you don't know what the algorithm is gonna like, the different strategy that you need to use with TikTok as opposed to Facebook is you need to make lots of videos to mitigate risk and then scale the ones that do best. So with Facebook, it's, it's about how can I craft the one best video possible for this platform that's really gonna work, connect with my audience that I know you can plan it out because you can plan everyone you're targeting to, you can plan everyone that you're whatever, and you can do a little bit with it on TikTok, but TikTok just isn't as precise as Facebook yet. The advertising features are nowhere near as advanced as Facebook are yet. So even though they kind of did a little bit of a copy and paste of Facebook's like main layout of how they do their advertising, it's still the same campaign structure and all that, it's it's quite a bit different from how it works in reality is how to how it is supposed to work in practice. So what I recommend doing is making lots of videos, I'd say anywhere from 10 to 15, and then see which ones are actually working, turn off the ones that aren't, so turn off the ones that you're spending hundreds on, or hopefully not hundreds on, but that you're spending lots on and you're not getting any leads from, and then put all of that money and all that funding into the ones that are getting leads for super, super cheap. So the difference between TikTok and Facebook is, one is you can just you know bat it out the park right away with Facebook by just having 
you know, a really, really great script and, and going off of that. With TikTok, you don't necessarily know what's gonna catch, so you need to have a lot of variety to split it up and test. That is what I recommend doing for TikTok as opposed to Facebook. So if you're more comfortable with doing that, I think you could probably see some a little bit cheaper lead costs from TikTok. There might be a, a couple more issues and problems with those leads than as of Facebook. It all depends on, on what you're doing. If you'd like to talk about your TikTok marketing or your Facebook marketing, um, I'm free to shoot a comment under this video or you know just send me a DM on whatever social media you use. I'm basically on all of them. And uh, yeah, so the the... Basically, like I said, it's going to be lots of videos for TikTok, one solid, well-scripted out message for Facebook. That's how you're going to want to do it. As for what we do in our own exclusive lead system, when it comes to video marketing, we have a done-for-you multi-dimensional lead generating process. We create all of the scripts that you need to run on Facebook and on TikTok, and we show you guys exactly how to do it. It's a done-for-you system. Like I said, multi-dimensional, we're on different platforms. It's also anti-fragile because if your TikTok goes down, then you still have your Facebook. So you're always getting leads coming through the door and that's why we have it set up that way so that even if one platform goes down, you still have the other that you can rely on. We also have a lead nurturing process to help capture more lead conversion out of the lead. So we don't just wanna generate you leads, we wanna make sure that those leads are actually converting. The way that we get them to do that is by sending them text messages, sending them emails to make sure that they're actually signing up to whatever it is that you want them to convert to. We teach you how to manage this system or we pair you up with a trained and qualified virtual assistant who will do the entire thing for you for a very, 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 very cheap. Uh, and like I said, it's all handed off to you once it's completed. We can consult you on it if you need, um, but it's all handed off to be completely in your control. You can spend as much or as little as you'd like on your lead generation. You don't have to have some agency forcing an invoice down your throat every month. If you'd like to pause, take a break for two months, three months, you can go for it. If you'd like to run it up through the moon and not worry about having to pay some stupid management fee every month to some agency, you can do that too. So with that said, that's what we offer. I hope that this video was helpful for those of you who are struggling with you know, knowing whether to get on TikTok or Meta for your lead gen. And uh, yeah, peace.